We're in a village just outside of Salisbury, uh, and I'm here with my good friend Martin, uh, who I designed and made this kitchen for. Um, this has been designed as a, a kind of cook and wine lover's kitchen, and I'm here uh, to talk a little bit to Martin about how we designed this kitchen and how it came about, uh, but also hopefully uh, get him to cook me some nice lunch and crack open a really great bottle of wine. In this house, it's a definite possibility. Fantastic. Old photographs show just how small and how different the original kitchen was and we're pretty much standing on the original line of the old outside wall. Yeah, in fact the old kitchen did not match the scale of the house at all. No, and uh, <laughs> I, I remember over a bottle of wine we decided we needed to do something about that, didn't we? So. Yeah, in fact we ended up building this space just to accommodate the kitchen we really wanted. Yeah, and I mean that just opened up enormous possibilities in terms of the design, so uh, we're now standing two years later in this fantastic looking kitchen. The oven's warming up. Let's talk a little bit about why the kitchen looks the way it is. Um, first things first, practicality. Does it work? Everything is where it should be. And secondly, it had to be sociable. You don't have to ask Simon if he wants a glass of wine. Nope. What's this we're drinking? It's uh, Langola 2002. Cheers. Cheers. But you know, the 2002, 2002 wasn't the greatest year, but the it's a very, very good wine, and Langoa is a very long-lived wine. So it's now got 10 years of bottle age, and you just sort of, it's becoming, there's no edge to it anymore, but it's got another at least 10 years of life in it. That is very nice. <laughs> and of course, thirdly, it had to be beautiful. And I think we've achieved something really special, actually. It's absolutely gorgeous. Cooking in this kitchen is fantastic. I mean, it's an absolute beautiful space and everything is right at hand. Whenever you turn, whatever you want is within uh, arm's reach. I am hungry. Here you go, Simon. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. I think it's, it's kind of made a difference, doesn't it, in terms of being able to kind of cook and then kind of eat in the same room. I mean, both here at the, both here at the kind of high bar and down at the, on the dining table. It's, um, you know, it's kind of nice being able to kind of exist in a space because before I seem to remember that we always had to kind of, we ate in the, we, we cooked in the small kitchen and kind of gathered and it was quite close in and then we'd all disappear off to the dining room, which we still do on a kind of more formal Yes, way. well, you designed all the furniture in there, too. I did, yeah, I know, I know, I know. I, know, I feel it's sadly neglected now. Uh... Yeah, the, the great thing about this, it is a beautiful space. And when you're in a beautiful place, you feel great. Yeah, well, the wine helps. <laughs> wine and good food help. And there's plenty of space for the kids to kind of roam wild and do what they need to do. Um, which is lovely, actually. And it's a real wow space. I mean, when we have friends over, they just love being here as well. Yeah, I've had some very complimentary comments from some of your friends, actually, on, uh, on Facebook. There is a kind of real trust in the relationship, and um, as the designer, you're designing it with somebody. 
Um, so it, they're always kind of joint ventures. What Simon says about trust is very key. Uh, we trust Simon completely. Uh, he's got a very good eye. He understands exactly what we want. Um, he gives us what we need, even if it's not exactly what we want. And uh, we've been very pleased with every commission that we've given Simon. You know, the furniture is a real part of the family. Thank you. That's really kind of you to say.